Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with week number oh, <laughs> three of the Art Journal Habit 2018 or hashtag Art Journal Habit 2018 via the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group. All right, so the words this for this video are north, movement, horn, depend, breeze, bush, and her. So for north, I did this one right here. Let me see if I got you out. Oh, yep, you are. Okay. Um, this one is north. I live in Texas, so anything that we want to see concerning mountains or anything like that, we have to travel north. And I did the um, compass with north pointing up because for me, north is up where I live down. I li don't live in southern Texas, but I'm getting close. <laughs> and so I put, um, what is it, snowy something, snowy glitter on the top of my mountains, and it took a couple days for that to dry completely, so I couldn't do the next day as quickly as I wanted. All right, so the next one is movement. When I think of movement, I think of ballerinas, that they have such graceful movement. Um, when I was a little girl, I took ballet lessons. Of course, I was the shortest, heaviest child in the class. So, you know, that didn't last long. <laughs> so, uh, I just I just love looking at ballerinas, both little girls and grown women. I just love how they're so graceful and just wonderful. All right, so the next one is horn. And I kind of expanded on this one by adding some extra words on here. I did Texas Longhorn because this is a point of pride for the state of Texas are the Longhorn cows. So I went to the internet and found some clip art of the Longhorn cows, people riding them. Um, there's, a set, there's a guy riding one, there's a girl riding one, and how lovely their horns are. I don't think they're really used for anything, although I may be wrong, except for they're just beautiful animals. I'm not sure that people actually butcher them to eat. I don't know. But they're gorgeous. They are just gorgeous creatures. And the next word here is depends. And I'm still playing around with the foils. I really want to get this foil thing down. So I started to do this and I was worried about stuff seeping through to the other side so I put gesso over the page and when I did that and then put watercolor over it it gave it a really funky look although it's growing on me <laughs> so I did the foil glue and let it dry for a couple of hours and then I did the foil for the leaves and all the flowers and doodled inside some of the smaller surfaces I was able to get a pen into. On the camera it looks pretty cool. Up close it looks more shiny and dimensional. It was fun. I am still working on this, this foil thing. I want to learn how to do this and do it well. All right, so the next word here was breeze. This one took several attempts, and I'm not really happy with the color that I used in here. But again, I put gesso on this and then did watercolor with a fan brush to make it look like grass. You know, the dandelions that blow in the wind are white. And I tried to use a um, white Signo pen to draw it on, but the background was so light that it wouldn't show. And I had already... Um, drawn and shaded some of the stuff in there so there was no going back. I had to hang with the black. So I did. Um, and then just there's the word breeze kind of blowing like the little fairies do. You know when you catch one of those when you're a kid you're supposed to make a wish. So there's the word breeze. And this is the word bush. We moved um, this last summer to um, a place where we have a little over a half an acre of land and we wanted to plant a garden and we're thinking about doing peach, peach and apple trees. So I also remember when we lived in Virginia Beach we would go out to Pungo Blueberry Farm and we would pick pounds and pounds and pounds of blueberries every year in July when they were ripe 
and I really enjoyed going. And the year that I missed it, I had no blueberries, and I was really not ha happy paying $10 for a large bag of blueberries. So we went back the next year and, and um, went and put picked blueberries every year after that, and I think we did it either 10 or 12 years, and we really did enjoy it. So there's blueberry bush for bush. There's the word bush. This one, let me turn it this way, is the word her. And this is like the cow jumping over the moon. I doodled on some watercolor paper. It says she flies with her own wings. You know, I, I was going to do a pig, but I thought that was too cliche. <laughs> So I did the cow, and she's cute. So I, I took um, jelly print paper, ripped it up, the whole same sheet. There's, you know, it's just this one sheet that I used. Then I used another sheet of jelly print paper for the moon. Used my um, P-Touch for the words. Did a little white Signo pen for the stars. Cut this out of, I don't even know where this came from. Then I doodled on watercolor paper and then took some wings off of something else that I had seen and traced them onto the watercolor paper and trimmed them down a little bit so they would fit the cow. I like this one. Um, it kind of goes with the cow jumps over the moon sort of theme. All right, and then I think, is that the last one? Let's see, is her the last one? It is! All right, so there's my flip through. There's her. Bush, Breeze, Depends. Oh, and I didn't read this saying on here. It says, my success depends on my determination. And that's how I feel about trying to get the foil to work on the glue because I was so impatient with closing the book and making everything flat. This time it stayed open and it has lots of dimension to it. I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Maybe not the background so much with the... Um, Oh, the word escapes me. Anyway, I'm not as thrilled with the background, but I like it overall. Then the word horn, and I use Texas Longhorn. Movement, I use ballerinas for the word movement. And then north for us to travel up north to see my son and daughter-in-law and my grandson. So there you go. That is week number three. Let me turn this back here. And then next week will be solar, gold, country, note, clock, tropical, possible, quarter, and powder. I'm thinking about doing all nine of these in one video because it'd be silly to do seven and then save um, three for the end or two for the end. It would be kind of silly. So I'm going to go ahead and do all nine of these. So it might be um, after or near the first of December before I do the video for this. Some of these were not posted. Some of these were not posted in Art Journal Habit 2018. I just did not have time, nor were they posted on Instagram. So those of you who were looking for them in Instagram and Art Joy sharing, they were not posted there. This is your first look at them. Cool, huh? Alrighty, so that's it for now. I will see you guys for week number four, sometime after the first of December. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.